Walking into the Medicine Chest Pharmacy on 4th Street is like stepping back in time. Thank you, Thank you. Have a good day. It's where White Bear Lake's rich history has taken the form of a tiny village on display near the back entrance of the store. It's right here. <laughs> After 20 years as an employee, Lindsay Schlichting serves as store manager, buyer, one for Pam as well. Would you like that one? Yeah. Okay. And pharmacist, and knows nearly every customer by name. We see, see, see somebody walk in the door and we can go grab their prescriptions and have them at the counter before they even get there because we just know people by first names. As store buyer, she went to a buyer show in March of 2018 where she saw ginger cottages made by a company in Manquin, Virginia. She wondered if they could make customized replicas of buildings in White Bear Lake and found out they could. You said there are some things on the inside. Yeah, Obviously, so it's hard to look at the windows. After consulting with White Bear Lake Historical Society Sarah Marku Hansen, they selected three buildings, the train depot, Philip Brown House, and Town Hall, and provided the company with photos. After many back and forth, the buildings were made and her concept has taken off. I felt like I had a good idea and a good concept from the beginning, um, but it's always in the back of your mind, you know, will people understand what I'm trying to do? And then, okay, if they get it and they understand it, will they want to spend money on it? Um, and the answer is yes. The buildings are selling very well and they've received orders from as far as California. Yep, the depot is selling the best. They range from $30 to $50 and contain hidden treasures within. In the train depot, we've got a ticket booth, um, a man sitting on the bench, and then a train schedule. Schlichting says there are plans for next year, and though people are asking, she's not telling, saying she's happy to see renewed interest in White Bear Lake's history. $5 from each sale going to the Historical Society. It's something that you know I'll have and I can show my kids and so um, it is it's, it's, it is very rewarding to see it you know go from your mind to on the shelf and people oh, are buying yeah. it.